This in particular client of mine is actually a pro tennis player and he teaches as well. He's USTA certified. With our training sessions, he really wanted to work on explosive power, overall strength and mobility. So we started with our sprints and we actually warmed up with some hanging drills. I felt that this was a really good way to help him strengthen up his shoulders and to build up overall strength in his arms in general. Also, to help gain some mobility, I was having him do some introduction work to the deep squat. You can see here how I am having him hold on to the rings and he is working external rotation of the legs. This is going to help him be able to sink deeper into that squat. Back to the explosive power, we did a series of box jumps onto a picnic table. Our focus was being able to explode up onto the table and land nice and soft. Nice complex movement. That's it right there, that's butter. Two more. second training session we were focusing on the same things with a slight different twist obviously we continued to work on our explosive power with running and we also use the kettlebell swing to help him learn how to maintain tension in the core while still relaxing his body we made a little bit of progress on the hanging we started to go into an active arching hang you can see here how I am having him hold the arching hang for about 20 seconds you can see here how he is actually opening up the hips uh, a little more and lifting using the lats to help him engage the movement definitely made a lot of progress with the deep squat you can see here how he is sinking lower into it we worked our internal and external rotation working our flexion and extension of the spine as well as the torso twisting uh, still he is not a hundred percent comfortable being down there that is why we are having him hold on to the post makes it a little easier to get down there also, uh, you can see here how I get quite a bit of inspiration from Ido Portal. We did a little bit of the basic locomotive conditioning drills with him. So this is our horse stance. I'm trying to explain to him how he needs to not turn in the knees, yet keep his legs nice and wide, sinking nice and low. Another quality we were focusing on was having him not hold any tension in the upper body, just trying to keep the legs nice and stiff and the upper body nice and loose. You can see here in this example how I am explaining that to him as well. Our next pattern took us into the duck walk and this is basically building up more mobility of the lower body. We're really focusing in and hammering on the ankles, knees and hips with this movement here. You can see the differences between our two duck walks. Nothing wrong here, it's just a matter of continuing to get better at it over time. Now we moved on to our dynamic stretching here. We're trying to work on stretching out the hamstrings through this fingertip pushing motion or the ostrich walk as some of us would call it. So once again, we're just working on building some more flexibility with the hamstrings. 
And lastly, we go to our kick-up drill here. I am just trying to test his overall upper body strength and also seeing if he has the control and the finesse to be able to land nice and soft with the feet. That was one of the attributes that I really focused on with him was the ability to be able to always do things with a little bit of a soft touch as well, not to overuse and not to overwork the body, only use what is necessary. So this guy is really tough. With his USTA national ranking, he's 92nd in the country. And in New England, he was actually top three in the region before COVID. So you can see here how movement training really focuses in on the gaps to make you a better mover as a whole. Guys, if you're interested in learning about my movement concepts, I do offer online personal training. Information on that will be in the description. Remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment to help support. As always, this is Mini Movement Man saying, be kind to one another. Peace.